Welcome to the morning offering, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Hey, y'all. Welcome to your morning offering. My name is Father Brad Doyle, and today is Monday, October 14th of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today's psalm is taken from 113. Psalm 113. There's 150 psalms, now 151 because they split one. Uh, There's debate. But uh, it's the prayer book of the church. It's prayed all around the world as the official prayer book. The breviary or the liturgy of the hours, which every religious and deacon and priest pray or vow to pray, um, is also for everybody. Right? It goes back to even Jesus' time. Jesus prayed the psalms. We know this because He knew them. He prayed them even from the cross. Psalm 22, when he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's praying the Psalms. Now, Psalm 113 says this, the portion that we read at Mass. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. So first, now and forever, God's name is to be glorified now, but also into the future. We're connected, not just to the people here on earth, but also to all those who came before us as we pray the Psalms and all those who we are passing on the faith to. Then it says this, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. Now this reminds me of Eucharistic prayer three. And if you remember in 2011, we had a retranslation of the English of the mass. See, the Mass is the same around the world, the Novus Ordo in the Latin, right? Uh, It means the new order of Mass. And the Latin is the official language. So everything in the vernacular is translated. And we wanted to get back to the original meaning of the Latin words because we were missing some of the scriptural references. And the scriptural reference in uh, the Eucharistic prayer number three at the very beginning comes from Malachi 1.11. And it says, from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name be great. My name will be great among the nations. So it's God talking to us. And we went from from the east to the west to the rising of the sun to its setting, which is what Malachi 111 said. It's what Psalm 113 says, because it means more than just directions. Like the east is over here. The west is over here. The reference to the rising sun is a reference to an eschatological or looking to the end times, to the parousia, that Jesus is the risen one. He's a risen son, S-U-N and S-O-N. And then even in our days, we are fulfilling this prophecy that from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord will be praised. And it really never sets. Remember the old saying, the sun never sets on the British empire because they were all around the world. Well, guess what? The sun never sets on the church because everywhere there are Christians, everywhere there are Catholics praying the mass, glorifying the name of the Lord. The sun's never set. This has been your reflection for today. Uh, If you like Morning Offering and it's beneficial to you, go to morningoffering.com and sign up. We'll be in your inbox every morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.